Hey gamers, this is Uday Kathik from Fusemtrix. In this video, we are going to see how to make leaderboard with the play fab part 2 in Unity. Check the part 1 link in the description and in the icon. If you do not subscribe to my channel until now, smash the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. Let's start the video. Create a new script named leaderboard entry. Now open the script in Visual Studio code. Now go back into leaderboard script and add serialize field leaderboard entry entry panel entry prefab Now add leaderboard entry Entry equal to null Entry equal to instantiate Entry prefab Dot game object Comma leaderboard parent dot get component leaderboard entry now select our canvas and click right click on it and click ui and select scroll view now assign this scroll view according to your positions now delete both scroll bar horizontal and vertical now right click create a empty game object and name it as leaderboard. Now drag and drop our leaderboard entry game object. Now select our content and click grid layout. Now select our leaderboard game object and add image. Now adjust the grid layout group according to your preferences. Now select our leaderboard game object and right click on it and click UI and click text. Now name it as player name. And I create another text and I name it as rank. Now select our leaderboard game object and double click to open the leaderboard entry script. Now add using unityengine.ui Now add serialize field text player name and add serialize field text 
position now clear these functions now create a public void set player name now add int player name now add player name dot text equal to player name now create another public void Now save it and go back into leaderboard script entry dot set player position player entry dot position plus one and add entry dot set player name player entry dot display name now save it and go back into unity now select our leaderboard script under drag and drop our player name and player position Now we need to make the leaderboard a game object as a prefab. So drag and drop into our asset folder. Now delete the leaderboard from the scroll view. Now select our playfab game object under drag and drop our leaderboard prefab. Drag and drop our content to our leaderboard parent. And add max result count 50. Now we need to create another button for getting the leaderboard. Right click UI button. Name it as get. Now click on on click and drag and drop our game object and select leaderboard and click new clear leaderboard. Now go back into script and go to our new, new clear leaderboard function and add get leaderboard and name it as demo. And add false, comma, start position, and start position as zero. Now save it and go back into Playfab Developer Console. Now click on our game, click on our project, and click on settings, and click title settings. And select our client profile options and select avatar url and click save client profile now click on leaderboard and click new leaderboard now name it as name the statistic name as demo and click save now select our players now go back into unity let test it by running it first let us complete our login facebook login to access the leaderboard with playfab now let test it by running it now click on get it shows we must login so i do my facebook login 
Facebook login, check my channel about Facebook login with Playfab. Check the link in the description and in the iCard. Now, now I will click on get. It is it says there is no leaderboard. So go to leader uh, go to Playfab Developer Console and uh, click on players and uh, click search. This is my logged in ID. I will add a display name for it. Test player. Now click on statistics and click on add and click demo and add values. Now click on save changes. Now go back into unity. Let test it again. Boom! Now we can able to show our leaderboard in Unity. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Fusion Plex for more tutorial about Unity. If you like this video, smash the subscribe button and hit the notification icon and share it with your friends. I will see you in the next awesome tutorial.